Philippine National Police or PNP launches an active investigation Monday against Senator Sonny Trillanes and members of the Liberal Party. This comes after Peter Jomel Advincula retracted his statements and accused the opposition of organizing an alleged ouster plot against President Rodrigo Duterte. Advincula is the man who claims to be Bicoy in the Ang Totoong Narcolist video series. In a Camp Crame press briefing, PNP Chief General Oscar Albayalde confirms the Criminal Investigation and Detection Group, or CIDG, already has an active case folder against people named by Advincula in his latest statements. Albayalde himself previously belittled Advincula as an information peddler, but is now considered by the administration as credible. President Rodrigo Duterte, the commander-in-chief, mostly sat out the distribution of diplomas to Philippine Military Academy or PMA 2019 graduates last Sunday. Duterte handed out diplomas to only two out of the 261 cadets graduating that day, the valedictorian of the class and the last-ranking cadet. In previous commencement exercises, Duterte handed out the diploma to all graduating cadets. Presidential spokesperson Salvador Panelo explains the president lacked sleep and struggled to stay awake. In the same event, Duterte signed a pardon for outstanding punishments of PMA underclassmen. He joked their offenses included rape. The number one is for rape. Putang ina. Ang number two is uh, drugs with rape, with robbery. Para sa munting lupa to. Pangatlo, multiple rape of the women of Baguio, the beautiful one. Pirmahang ko na. Eh, God. Siya na nakasala. Taas ka ngayon. Ah, hindi ako pa-pirma nito. You have to be, show to me your face. Police Chief General Oscar Albayalde came to the president's defense Monday. He says it is, quote, an obvious joke. He's, he's the president. Hindi naman natin pwedeng sabihin kung ano na sa kanya, kung anong dapat niya sabihin na tindi. No? That's the president of the republic. The PMA graduation comes after an entire week that the president was out of the public eye. Rumors circulated that he had again visited Cardinal Santos Medical Center. Duterte neither confirmed nor denied he made a hospital visit. Komisyon sa Wikang Filipino or KWF Chairman Virgilio Almario slams universities that stopped offering Filipino subjects in college. In a press conference Monday, Almario says that while a Supreme Court decision no longer makes the subjects required in college, universities have the academic freedom to teach them. He says, quote, What's sad is that the Supreme Court decision is being used for something that it did not intend. In fact, it clarified that the CHED memo is just a minimum requirement. This means that this is not the entire requirement and it can be kept, courses can be added, especially in Filipino. But we see the opposite is happening. He also urges public universities to take on the responsibility of teaching and cultivating the use of Filipino. He reminds schools that as learning institutions, they share the role of ensuring the language provision of the 1987 constitution was upheld. The government's economic team says the 2019 budget delay dragged down economic growth for the first quarter of the year. In a Senate hearing on the matter, Social Economic Planning under Secretary Rosemary Adelion says the budget impasse hurt the government's poverty reduction efforts and kept around 420,000 Filipinos poor. Adelion says the stalled budget caused delays in the implementation of infrastructure projects, which in turn affected job generation. The country ran under a reenacted 2018 budget budget until President Rodrigo Duterte signed the 2019 budget in April. Singer Gary Valenciano hits the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency's call to ban the song Amats by rapper Shanti Dope. Valenciano says it could create a domino principle and limit other forms of artistic expression as well. He says, quote, once you start limiting what people can say in a song, what's to stop anybody from limiting to express themselves in other ways? In movies, in what you write, in what we tweet, in what we put on Instagram, what we put on Facebook. This comes after PDEA chief Aaron Aquino called for the song to be banned, saying it promotes the use of illegal drugs. 
Shanti Dope's management refutes the allegation, saying the song was about getting a natural high from music and not drugs. <laughs>